Rheumatoid arthritis is a debilitating disease believed to be mediated by an inappropriate activation of immunologic response. Leukocytes infiltrating the synovial space play a key role in propagating an inflammatory response directed against self tissue in the region. Methotrexate is a mainstay in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and remains one of the most effective therapies. However, identifying optimal therapeutic dose while balancing side effects can be a significant challenge, one that requires gradual dose escalation and careful patient management. Ingested methotrexate enters circulation where 50 to 99 percent is excreted in the urine. Approximately 6 to 7 percent is hepatically cleared. The remaining methotrexate makes its way into bone marrow where it is taken into hematopoietic progenitor cells. Within the marrow progenitor cells, methotrexate being an analog of folic acid is available to enter the folate pathway and like folate methotrexate is modified through a process known as polyglutamation polyglutamation extends the persistence and hence the activity of methotrexate inside the cell during hematopoiesis methotrexate interferes with cellular metabolism at multiple points in the folate pathway in particular Methotrexate slows de novo purine synthesis by inhibiting ACAR transformylase, a critical enzyme involved in one of the last steps in the synthesis of guanosine and adenosine monophosphate. The reduced availability of critical GMP and AMP compromises DNA synthesis, reducing cell proliferation. Leukocytes migrate from marrow into circulation carrying polyglutamated methotrexate and travel to sites of rheumatoid inflammation. The inflammatory response is slowed in part by the reduced titer of white blood cells. By measuring methotrexate polyglutamate levels in blood we can evaluate the metabolism of the drug. This may allow for more rapid identification of the dose required for maximum therapeutic response. Because polyglutamated methotrexate is the active form, response can be evaluated by measuring polyglutamate levels rather than plasma levels of unmodified methotrexate. This may help explain why methotrexate response is not necessarily dose dependent. Since red blood cells also carry methotrexate polyglutamate, they can act as a surrogate marker for therapeutic methotrexate levels in leukocytes, the true mediators of arthritic inflammation. GI distress and hepatotoxicity are potential risks that can limit dose escalation when attempting to more rapidly identify the optimal therapeutic dose of methotrexate. Contributing to the risk of side effects is the genetic variation in the enzyme methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, MTHFR. By measuring MTHFR activity, a clinician can gain additional information about a patient's potential risk of methotrexate-related side effects. Methotrexate remains the standard of care in the treatment of arthritic disease. New laboratory assays to measure methotrexate polyglutamates and genetic variances can provide clinicians with more information to help their patients achieve rapid, long-lasting relief from rheumatoid arthritis.